May 31st And afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your old men will dream dreams, your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. Joel 2, 28 and 29 The revival at Pentecost was probably the most dramatic biblical revival. We see at Pentecost the perfect illustration of the process of revival. First, there was the promise of revival. Jesus had told his disciples to wait in Jerusalem until the promised Holy Spirit came upon them. He was reiterating what had been prophesied in the scriptures, most notably in today's passage from Joel, where the outpouring of the Spirit upon all people had been promised. Second, there was prayer. The disciples persevered in united prayer, waiting upon the Lord in obedience to Jesus' command, not even knowing when the promise would be fulfilled. Third, there was the pouring out of the Spirit. Each of the 120 believers in that place were filled with the Holy Spirit. The word pouring out, in both Hebrew and Greek, refers to a gushing forth, to an abundance of what is being poured out. The Holy Spirit was given, not just to the apostles or to the early church, but for the whole world without measure. Fourth, there was the manifestation of the Spirit's power. The place where they were meeting was shaken. There was a sound of a mighty wind. Tongues of fire settled on each believer, and they all spoke in tongues. All these were manifestations of the Spirit's power, which was also seen in the bold preaching by Peter that followed. Fifth, the spirit of prophecy was released. Joel declares, and Peter confirms, that when the Spirit is poured out, the primary manifestation will be the release of prophetic gifts, prophecy, dreams, and visions. The church in revival is a prophetic church receiving God's heart in intimate relationship and communicating His kingdom will and purpose to a lost world. Finally, and most importantly, revival is characterized by the presence of God. Every element of the Pentecost revival, from the united prayer that preceded the outpouring to the church of 3,000 plus believers that was established, was saturated with the awesome presence of the Holy Spirit. We live in the age of Pentecost, and the revival that was birthed that morning 2,000 years ago was never meant to cease. The Holy Spirit still waits for a people who will wait for Him, that He may pour Himself out afresh in an even greater revival than Pentecost. Today's Prayer Holy Spirit, be poured out afresh upon our sons and daughters, upon old and young, upon men and women, upon your servants.